What is up, peoples? Maybe even the black here, helping you achieve emotional, financial, and physical abundance, well-being, and your coach to help you get over your, you know, emotional crap with your parents. So, today's video is all about how to improve, or you know, you could say repair, or how to have a, uh, you know, better relationship with your parents. Now, before you start with anything, the question you must ask yourself is this. And it starts with you. The question is, you know, what relationship, I won't say kind, I don't want to use that word. What relationship do you want to have with your parents? Okay. Now the question, the, the other thing too, I had, I had to consider when, before I shot, before I did this video is for the people who, who, who have parents that are just so jacked up and disgusting, you're like, fuck that. What kind of, what, I don't want a relationship with them. And I'd still have a relationship with them, even if you don't want one, even if you have cut them off. And this, this video is also people who have who have parents who, you know, there's still a chance of to, I don't want to say rekindle, of getting back to, of having a good relationship with them because the parent, your mom or dad or both, they still want to work things with you. I'm gonna address, I'm gonna address both. I'm gonna address those parents who don't want to do anything with you or are just too jacked up to do anything and those parents who, if you're fortunate enough, still want to work with you. And by working with them, I mean they're willing to change and compromise and work with you as long as you are to not be stubborn in their ways. So I'm gonna start with people who, you know, who have the parents where they're just jacked up and don't want to compromise. And this goes for the other 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 parents who do want to work with you. Realize this: you cannot do a goddamn thing to change, to change your parent. You can't do jack shit. And that was the hardest thing for me to accept when it came to my mother for a long time. At the time of this video, my birthday's in a couple of days, I'll be 32. 30 fucking two years old, and it took me a long ass time till now, 31, to realize I really can't change my mom. Holy shit. Consciously I knew, but subconsciously I was, I was still trying to change her through things I was doing. And all it does is cause you more and more and more and more and more and more, more pain, bullshit, anger, sadness, which eventually you will get tired of. And I don't care how long it takes you, you'll get tired of it, and it's not worth it. Just let, just let, just let them go. Anyways. But thing about it is that you can't change them except that once you do there's a lot of freedom in that then it goes back to the question of what relationship do I want to have with my mom dad or parents what what relationship do you want to have here's the thing even if you have no desire to speak with them you still have a relationship with them and what it comes down to is this it's forgiving yourself forgiving them all right forgiving them for what they've done trust me it's not easy but you have to because if you don't forgive if let me address this too if you think that by not forgiving someone, your parents, that by any means it makes it makes you look better or feel better, makes your life better, and it makes you feel like it makes their life worse, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't do jack shit for them. And it's I've been there before, very stubborn, because if you don't forgive someone, you feel very powerful, and it makes you angry, and anger makes you feel powerful. Because if you forgive someone, you have the misassociation or conception that, oh, if I forgive, that means I'm weak and I'm wrong and they've gotten away with it. Well, here's the thing. They've not gotten away with anything. By not forgiving them, you've given, you've given them the power. That's the irony of it all. You've given them the power, one, two. By not forgiving them, you're literally killing yourself. You're poisoning yourself. That's two. Three, by not forgiving them, it's not doing a goddamn thing to their life at all. They're not happy. They're, I mean, they're not They're not sad. They're not begging for forgiveness. Their life goes on. It doesn't. It doesn't it doesn't do anything to them. All it's doing is causing you more bullshit. And until you get tired of that, I'm telling you, it doesn't do anything for them. It doesn't do anything to them at all. So you can go ahead and not forgive someone. I don't forgive, I don't forget. Great. Guess what? They're going to live their life. It won't affect them in any, in, 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 any, in any way, shape, or form. And all it's going to do is cause you pain, emotional, physical. So if you want to continue to have emotional, emotional physical pain, Bomb is do that. I'm a coach of this shit. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Go ahead. If you don't want me help in that area, then I can help you camp yourself. I'm sorry. That's true. So one, start the process of forgiving them because your life will become so much better. You'll become so much happier. Now, to have a better relationship with them, it starts with you. Again, forgive them and in your own time, write a letter of love, forgiveness, and also when you're sitting there chilling, just focus on the feeling of love either from whatever you believe in, God, universe, and give them love. 
give them happiness. You can still love your parents from a distance and have absolutely no contact with them whatsoever. And it's true. You can do that. And by doing so, you help yourself. On some level, you help them. Even though you can't change them, there is an influence there, okay? But you're not killing yourself. You can still have a relationship with them. And it gets better because as you, as you recondition yourself when you do this, should you come back in contact, they will notice that you're different, you will feel different, and you will interact with them different. And if you've taken any of my advice, you'll know when to cut, cut off the bullshit and move on and still be able to maintain a, and still maintain your own sanity, have serenity, have peace with yourself, peace with them, still love yourself and still love them, which is the whole point. When you can do that, your relationship with them has improved, even though they haven't done anything to prove it between the two of you. If you've done your work, it's fine, because when they do pass on, you have any negative feelings, emotions to work on, it becomes you've dealt with it, you will be at peace, which is the important part here. It's the end goal, really, at the end of the day. So for those of you who have parents that do wanna work with you, congratulations, you're one of the <laughs> select few from, I guess. Um, you know, the first thing, again, forgive yourself, forgive them, and when you talk to them, tell them how you feel. Like, just be honest with them. Say, look, I don't like it when you say these things, and I feel this, and I apologize for my behavior. I still love you, still care about you, you know? And then talk to them, see what they say, you know? Listen to them. Listen to them, agree with what they say, even if you don't agree with it, just, just, just listen to them, and go from there. It's very vague advice, I understand, but just go listen to them. Because the benefit you have right now that I don't have at the moment in time with my, with my mother is this. They're willing to change or do something different and work with you. That's huge. It's a pain in the ass, and anyone that's watching this, it's a pain in the ass to do all this work, just bending over backwards, this apologizing, forgiving for someone who will continue to stand there and be like, yeah, you owe me, bitch, and then not do anything in their part to make this shit better, but expect you do everything, and then nothing's really ever changed. It's, it's that you give yourself more pain and shit to deal with, and they just sit there and think, oh, that's your fault. It's the most annoying thing, and you get sick of it, you get tired of it, it's why you don't want to talk to them, it's why you get angry, because it's like, because you've done all this work, you've done all this effort to change something, and they're not doing jack shit, and they still blame you, and you're like, what the fuck? It's very frustrating, that's why you get tired of it. I've experienced it. So for you, who has that parent or parents that are willing to work with you, be thankful, be happy, because you are an advantage over the majority of people that I've spoken to and come across my video it's crazy so really here are the steps to summarize it all one decide what relationship you want to have with your parents disconnect them completely and still give them love and happiness and have peace with yourself and them or have a relationship where you know you can work with them it depends that that answer comes down to you number two forgive yourself forgive them work on that because it removes so many barriers and will help you out more important. At the end of the day, it's gonna benefit you. Not so much them, it'll benefit you. And go from there, rinse, repeat. Like I said, breathe in, feel the emotions that you have to go through. Go from there, you know? And look, if you want help with this, I'll give you an incentive. I have a newsletter for those of you who want more tips like this on there and just way you can get updates in your email whenever I do a video. If you don't, you don't subscribe, to my, subscribe to my YouTube channel, I will offer you a free coaching session. The link is in the description below. Sign up for the newsletter, my friend. Schedule time. We'll talk. Help help guide you, guide you through the process. It's easier to work with someone, because I'm a coach, like I said, to help guide you the process. Where if you're not so sure you need help, you know, need like training wheels to get you started. Hey, I'm your training wheels. Sounds weird, but it is what it is. So, all that being said and done, appreciate you, love you, like this video, comment, let me know, and you know what your thoughts are. And, um, you know, hey, reach out to me for a coaching session. You know, schedule a time or text me, 240-418-2646. 240-418-2646. Get in the black. Deuces.